Hello and welcome back. If you are just joining me, which means you have Freestyle Express or thinking about getting one, maybe you got nothing better to do. Uh, maybe you have a lot of time to kill, so maybe watch my videos. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to cover my title is the, the ultimate guide to Freestyle Express, but uh, I'm going to uh, explain to you the tips and tricks, so uh, how to use the machine, and also I'm going to cover uh, what kind of tools I have. I'm going to talk about some cups. I know cups, you don't think it's not a big deal, but I think it's a big deal. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about the cups as well. I'm going to also talk about the grinder settings and uh, dosing and temping. What else? I think I'm going to touch on the manual mode or versus program mode. I'm going to touch on that. And then after that, I'm going to pull the shots. And oh, by the way, and also I'm going to talk to you about some coffees as well. So uh, let's get going. So let, let's talk about tools, okay? So I have three different tools. I have the leveler. Uh, so this is, I got from Amazon for just under 20 bucks. Uh, this is a really good tool because instead of uh, temping, you level it first. Better yet, uh, you can set the depth on this the same level as the the bravery give you is called razor tool. So this is the ideal, the depth to whenever you make a coffee. So in that case, you may not need to temp. I have a video on that as well, so my last video. So this one I have, uh, dosing funnel. Uh, this is optional. Uh, this is really nice to have because whenever you do the manual dosing, this fits right here. So this is 54 millimeter. Just make sure you get the 54. So you don't have to have it, but this, this is nice to have. And at the same time, if you like to up your gain, you know what, invest money on the scale. So this is, uh, I got the scale from Amazon, just under 20 bucks, I think maybe, maybe $15. Uh, really nice to have. And so I like to dosing 18 gram every time. I like to do single dosing but it's really nice to have on your uh, kitchen. Uh, let's see, and then let's go on to cups. Okay, so this is what I used to use. Uh, just regular cups, uh, feels okay. But I started getting into coffee. I found a company called Not Neutral. So they make this amazing, simple, but very elegant. Feels good to handle. So this is their cappuccino cup. They're fantastic. And so this is their latte mug. Again, really feels really good on your hand as well. This is latte. So whenever I like to drink like Americano, I like to use their, it's called their, uh, let's see, a Vero cup, Vero. Uh, really nice as well. And then, but if I have time on weekends, if I like to enjoy the coffee more, so this is cup made by uh, Crew is called prepare, uh, so I like to use that for whenever I drink like good uh, let's say espresso, swerve it. I've been using this for past six uh, about three months or so. But by the way, uh, they sent me some more glasses. It's called the glassware. I'm going to show you guys next week. They're amazing. Okay, what else is there? The tools. Yes. Uh, so this is the double baskets. It's called uh, double wall, uh, double baskets, and this is single. And then, so they give you four baskets whenever you guys uh, buy brand new uh, Brewster Express. Double, obviously, you know what? Personally, I like to use double size rather than single because for some reason, the double tastes better than single. Could be the way it's designed. So this one does not have the curve here. So give you a better extraction. And so this is the pressurized. Pressurized means it comes to grinder setting. It's not as sensitive. So maybe you can just set around eight or so. You know, seven or eight. Uh, you're gonna get a really decent shot out of it. But if you wanna get a better shot, uh, use the single wall baskets like I have here. So that's really good. I mean, again, once you're dialed in, this is a better option. Uh, let's see, comes to, uh, let's talk about uh, grinder setting. Uh, grinder setting is 
the Brabra Barista Express, uh, they actually made it really simple. So they, the thing is they only give you 16 different settings, okay? Simple, but you don't have a lot of options. So one through 16. So final is to the left. Just, just dialed in, dial in. And then uh, if you wanna make a cursor, you just uh, dial to the right. That's it. So only 16, so pretty much take the guesswork out, uh, somewhat. So make your life a little easier. But again, the 16, like uh, Brista Express Pro, they give you, I believe, 32 different settings. So they give you, they give you more finer option. But as uh, so Brista Express, we are stuck with the 16. Okay, let's talk about uh, dosing. So they give you two options. You got the single dose and double. Okay, just simply by pressing it. Uh, since I don't do single shots anymore, so I like to just do double. This dial it grind amount here. If you are using the uh, dosing, I'm sorry, uh, the hopper. So this one, this setting matters if you're using the hopper. But personally, I don't use it. I always measure out like 18 grams at a time. So if you have the single dose, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using the hopper, I like to set between uh, 3 and 4 o'clock, right on between. Actually, not, yeah, more like, uh, you know what? Set at 4. I think you want to be a little over than under. So set at 4. Uh, let's see, so we got the dosing cover. You know what? Uh, let's pull the shot. Actually, no, no, stop. Uh, let's talk about the manual mode and uh, program mode. The so program mode here, I have a video, uh, videos on that as well. But if you, guys, uh, if you guys like to play with the program mode, play with it, but personally I don't use it because that setting is different from, it's not the setting, but the shot quality is uh, different from each day, okay? So whenever your machine is cold uh, versus hot, warmed up properly, or if you are using fresh coffee, the, uh, the each day is different. So you gotta constantly adjust. So this is timed program. So personally, I don't like to use program mode, but I do have videos on that as well. So check it out. But I, I do like to use a manual mode. Uh, manual mode is really easy to use but ultimately, you know, I just like to use just the factory setting. Makes my life a little easier. Okay, so let's pull the shot. So in the morning, uh, first thing I do is I turn the machine. So I wait about 30 minutes and then I prepare the uh, shot glass. Okay. Uh, simply by press double. I try to warm up the glass first. So my shot glass is, I'm just gonna leave here for now. So since I'm gonna do the single dosing, um, if you have the scale, use it. I'd like to get 18 gram in. Oh, uh, by the way, okay, I forgot to mention, having a good coffee is extremely important, okay? So this is Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, whenever you buy like the, the actual roasters, they give you the roasting date. So this is the April 22nd. So this is really new. Okay, so I've been using, uh, I mean, most of you, maybe go to Costco, they get a big bag of, of beans there. So this, this is Costco bag, Kirkland Signature. We got the espresso blend. Uh, let's see, roasted by Starbucks. So this is the uh, Starbucks. Uh, the thing is, you have no idea how long it's been sitting on their shelf. I mean, first of all, I had it for two months in my house. You know, I mean, this is a fresh, considering as some people think this is uh, fresh ground beans, but it's not. Anyway, I'm not gonna use this. I'm, I'm going to use the Good Brothers coffee. So I got the uh, 17.9 gram in. 
So this one got 70.7 grams. So again, so this is not a true zero retention grinder, but you know, sometimes it works pretty good. So 17.8 uh, grams, I'm gonna use that dosing funnel like this. So, and just dump the coffee in. Uh, since I have the, the depth match with the razor, so I'm just gonna slowly level it out. So now you're perfectly level. But some people like to use the tamping anyway. You know what? It's not hurt to do it. So I mean, you can do it either way. You know what? I'm just gonna tamp too. Why not? So, then, oh, at, the, oh, at this point, I'm not going to use the program mode or manual or anything like that. I'm just going to use the factory mode. I think I got lucky with the grinder setting. Uh, shot looks good, lots of crema. The so great thing about uh, uh, using the crew cup, uh, it's, it's called propel. You can actually swerve it, as you can see from here. So it incorporates with the air and the uh, coffee as crema as well. So cheers, everybody. Wow. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, so. Okay, my grinder setting, I set at number eight. Okay, the reason why I set at number eight, uh, again, we got uh, different, uh, different, we got one through 16. So whenever I use a brand new beans, I just go to the middle first, number eight. And then if you are there, uh, if I get no pressure versus pressure, and I, sl I st starting to adjust from there. If I, if I have a very weak pressure, I go, go down to number uh, seven, six. And if I have too much pressure, I go to even so nine or 10. So I think that's kind of like rule of thumb. And uh, I do not mess with the internal burr because I'm, uh, internal burr has the top burr uh, is set at uh, factory set. Mine is set at uh, number five. So unless, my, unless if I don't get any pressure, even one, and then I mess with it, but so far you yeah. have one more tool I left out uh, timer uh, because once you get into making good uh, shots, you uh, you might want to time it. Uh, uh, industry standard is between 20 and 30 second extraction. So <clears throat> best way to find that is just set the timer and then, you know, how long is the shot and they can adjust from there. So whenever I, uh, whenever I use a manual mode, I like to time it first, time and wait the shots. I like to get about 45 gram between 30 and uh, 20 and 30 seconds. But most mornings, I just uh, dose out about 18 gram and just let it go. Just factory set. I'm um, used to get a decent shot out of it. Anyway, so this coffee is really good, by the way. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. And I'm, I'm going to put all the link below as well, the dosing funnel or uh, distribution tool. So check it out. Oh, wait. Uh, I just got an Instagram recently. So if you guys are bored, nothing else to do, go check out my Instagram page too. So And make sure to join me as well. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below as well. So see you guys next time.